Hi, it's Gordon here at Averlights, and I'm going to take you through a few more options that you might not be aware of within workspaces. Titan, from version 9 above, always made these four workspaces for you. In version 12, you'll find another couple of them as well. But you can customize the workspace, the main section of your console screen, however you like. Softkey F always shows open workspace window. And here you can see that I've started typing in a search function. Because there are in excess of 50 workspace windows that you can use, scrolling forwards and backwards might not be the best option for you. If I want the workspace where all of my macros are stored to be in the center of the screen, I'm going to use this search box and start typing in the word macros. Soon as this is open, it's open to its last position, which was on the bottom left hand side. If I want it to be in the center, I can choose these custom size arrows and having a look at my soft keys here, I can get a few nice tools as well. I can choose to edit all of the windows rather than just one of them. I could choose to resize the neighbors or I could leave any of the neighboring windows exactly where they are. But for this, I'm just gonna draw a box in the middle of the screen. Tapping in this section of the screen once and having a look at my soft keys, I've got the option to type in a legend if I would like. I've got the option to also draw a picture if I prefer. As soon as I say record workspaces, this is now saved. I can jump from my groups and palettes workspace to adding this macros window there. Each workspace window that you've got has got a few default settings that you can choose. Tapping that little cog icon at the top of the screen, I can choose a few default sizes and positions. I can also choose some button sizes if I need. Maybe with these macros, I don't need the button sizes to be automatically changing. I've only got a few macros, so supersize, where they take up this whole section of the screen is perfect. In the context menu, which you'll find in this section of your console screen, or on this Titan Go interface, it's inside these four little lines, I can choose whether I show or hide pages. And this is true for any of the workspace windows. Say I want some colors separated out onto a different page. I could go into the context menu, pages show. I could move these there on page two. Now I've got a little bit more space in my page one and I can name these the same as you can name anything else inside Titan. Taking a few moments to clean, make sure your workspaces are nice and clean and laid out the way that you'd like, you'd be surprised how quickly it increases your speed of programming. If you ever need to delete a workspace, this is a permanent thing inside Titan. So there's another button press in there just as a safety measure to stop you doing it by accident. If I press the open slash view button on the console, and then I press the delete button on the console, this will allow me to delete one of the workspaces. If you're used to setting up your workspaces, you'll know that each of them come with a user number on the top left hand side. This is so that you can quickly grab them. My effects editor window has got the workspace user number of 11. So I could say view 11, enter, and this is gonna load up that workspace for me. There are no universals with laying out your workspaces. It's whatever suits you and whatever suits the show that you're programming with. But with the amount of workspaces that you can make and the amount of workspace windows where you can see information differently, taking some time to get used to it is very important. Thanks for watching and tune in to the next one.